Today on the table of the FN, FNS, and the SIG P320. You will see a price split of about $135, the P320 being about $135 more than the FNS. Now you can get cheaper models without night sights and stuff, but then this isn't even really a fair comparison. Because the FN, at that price range, does come with night sights. The specs, the SIG P320 is a heavier firearm. Now they do offer compact models and shorter barrels, which would change the weight. But so does FN. FN is also a shorter firearm. Trigger break. P320. Breaks pretty good. I'm actually not seeing any movement in the front sight when it breaks either. Here's your reset. And your break again. FNS. It still breaks pretty good, but I do think the P320 breaks better. Understand this is not the upgraded model. This is back when apparently you could hit them in the back with a hammer and set them off. So when you do upgrade it, or if you do get an upgraded model, it may change the way the trigger acts. Here's your reset on the FN. Right there. And then the brake again. They do break down the exact same, but for some reason I struggle with the P320. I don't know why, maybe it's a birth defect or some sort of learning disability. But you lock the slide to the rear, run it forward. On the FN you have to dry fire it, slide comes off. Then your slide goes back on. And you reflip your lever. The P320, same thing, lock your slide to the rear, flip your lever down, which is much more difficult to do. Slide comes forward and comes off. Then going back on. <laughs> Easy peasy lemon squeezy. When you purchase the firearms, your SIG P320, you're going to get two 17 round magazines, a very nice holster, uh, a, just a quality case, this really is. It's cut out for the firearm and everything, sticker, owner's manuals, etc. Now with the FN, in total you're going to get three 17 round magazines, so you're basically trading a holster for an extra magazine. You also get your changeable back strap. Gun lock, owner's manual, and a so-so case. No joke, the SIG case is far superior than the FN case in every way, shape, and form. Both firearms do have accessory rails. Both of them are set up, so if you're one of those people that are all left because you're just not right, these will work for you. Now the FN, it's ambi already. You don't have to change a thing. Slide stop. Mag release, everything. The SIG, you have to convert this over, which you'll probably have to go on YouTube tutorials because I'm not exactly sure how, but it is set up so you can switch this over to lefty. Like I said, both firearms do have night sights. Now, both firearms do also use the same color dot, which I do not like at all. I want a different color dot in the front of my firearm so it is impossible for me to confuse when I sight alignment when it's completely black. Just saying. How the slides cut, I do like the FN a lot better. These firearms are both the same in thickness, but the FN gives the appearance that it's thinner just by how it's milled. The SIG just looks chunky and fat. Even though it's really not, it, it gives the appearance of it. The FN has much more aggressive texturing. This you can feel. It just grips into your hand. I like that a lot. Even if I was nervous and sweaty, I would have a hard time dropping this. The SIG P320 is almost like skateboard tape, but worn down. It doesn't quite have the same texture. It's not as it's not as of it's not as aggressive as like skateboard tape is, but it is like a similar like design texture, I, I guess would be the word for it. 
The overall look of the firearm, without a doubt, I like the FN better. It just looks sexier, more refined. Um, the FN feels more quality too. Uh, you even get a polished feed ramp, which you do not get with the SIG. The triggers, I like the SIG, like the materials they used, it's metal. It just feels really good, but the actual snap of it, it's kind of squishy, if that makes any sense. Like, listen. The FN, even though I hate the trigger, the break of it, it just feels more positive. That probably really doesn't even matter, but it's just a talking point, I guess. Eh, God, what's the words? It, it just... For me, it inspires confidence. Where the SIG, the squishiness of it, it just doesn't. I mean, that's probably not a thing, and it's probably not even a problem. It's just something I've noticed. Um, neither firearm second strike capable. The holster that comes with the SIG fits the very fits the firearm very nicely. Very easy to draw. Now the SIG, you don't get changeable back straps. The FN, you do. But really, I mean, is that a thing? Like, this fits my hand perfectly with the back strap it's got. The SIG doesn't fit my hand so well. It, it feels too wide. They made the grip too thick. You don't get changeable back straps, but I don't think it would really make a difference. Now, you do get the serial number on the fire control, so you could buy different firearms, and while you're waiting for them to transfer over, if somehow you're magically in a state that has a waiting period, but doesn't also restrict the firearms parts... That would work for you, but because of laws, they pretty much made that feature useless. It's about as useless as a changeable back strap. Chances are, if you have a waiting period on your pistol, you have a waiting period on all the parts, no matter what. Like Illinois, you order a rifle barrel, there's a waiting period. Same thing, it doesn't make a difference, you, so you might as well just order an entire firearm with the part already in there. Now, which one would I pick? If... Somebody comes in the store right now and we're like, Oh no, the socialists are coming! And I had to pick a firearm. What would I take? Well, the FN and the SIG do both have night sights, which I like a lot. They both do have accessory rails, which... These, for me, are too big for a concealed carry. These would be a vest gun, a nightstand gun, a holster, you know, outside the body... So, with those limitations on it, honestly, now understand I have a bias. I am an FN fanboy. I really like their products. If I could somehow remove that, I still think my choice would be the same. The FN all the way. Just feels more quality. It's lighter. You get three magazines instead of just two. Chances are, if it's going on my nightstand or my tack vest, there'll already be a place for it. I won't need a holster. Now, I'm going to carry it on my hip. The SIG would have the advantage there because you get a holster. But you still only get two 17-round two magazines. And I like being able to buy my firearm and not having to get accessories. Like, just buy it. It's a complete package ready to go. And let's not forget, the $135 price split makes a huge difference for me as well. When I have an opportunity to buy an FN firearm cheaper than a different brand, without a doubt, I go FN. If there was like a mystery box and I could trade, you know, some random firearm and get what's in the mystery box and the only thing I know is it's an FN firearm, I would really, really, really have to have my socks blown off by my current firearm not to make that deal because there's just nothing of FN I really don't like. I like all their firearms. They're always built quality. When I look at firearms, they're the golden standard. They're the firearm. I hold a firearm up another firearm up against to see how quality it is because I know the quality level of the FN is so good that chances are whatever I'm holding up against it will be less. But I want to see how close it is to that quality to get an idea of how well the firearm is manufactured. But that's just my opinion. I'm not saying the SIG's a bad firearm. And one advantage that SIG probably has over FN, I don't know because I've never used SIG's customer service, is the FN's customer service has been... <laughs> If you'd like to help to support the channel, I've recently opened up a Patreon account because I'm in desperate need of a new laptop and editing software so I can put out higher quality videos at a faster rate and longer videos. So I'd hope to see you over on Patreon. Awkward. Like, 
I have not had good success at all. It's nothing's ever been warranty covered. I've always had to pay for shipping there, the labor for the repair. I've had to pay for the parts for the repair, the shipping coming back. And it's just, I'm not impressed at all with FN's customer service. SIG may be different, and on the political scale, SIG actually went out of their way fighting for our rights. A person was forced to resign because the firearm he made was pushing the envelope so much of what we could legally have. They're like, yeah, yeah. we're going to have to shut you down, and they made him resign. I've never heard of FN doing that, but those are all factors to think of when you're selecting your firearm. But thanks for watching. Leave in the comments below which one you would pick and why. If you own either of these two firearms and what you think of them. Don't you want to teach me just how you like it? I can make my daddy happy. Don't forget to subscribe.